Remember also when I stay in Mathura, Mathura climate is very hot and, and winter time also very cold and that time also. and that time Mathura is not many kinds of facilities also these things. So many times I'll become very sick and blood coming from my na nose, mouth, sometimes you fainted and so because very difficult to tolerate Mathura's and climate. And, and especially Mathura water also not good also, that is complete all salty water, now also salty water. <laughs> and, and this is not for uh, health. So after few months, Srila Gurudev Nanak Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, he came. Then I told, I don't want to stay in Mathura because I cannot tolerate it. That time, that Nanu Gosh, that time my Bhaman Goswami, my Guru Bhaman Goswami had told, no, if you die, have to stay in Mathura. <laughs> we have to, this is my, uh, <laughs> you stay with Nan Goswami Maharaj. Then I told, I did not listen Harikatha from you. Well, my Harikatha is not different from Nan Goswami Maharaj. Mm -hmm. He told these things. Then he used this word, Diksha Guru Ke Janiya Tumi Taro Roop, Siksha Guru Ke Janiya Tumi Taro Saroop, Antar Jami Bhakta Sreshtha Ei Dui Roop. Then Chaitanya Charita Amritam, don't you discriminate with Diksha Guru and Siksha Guru. And my Guru is very humble. He only told, he only think Nan Master is non different from me. And Nan Goswami Maharaj always he also gave respect to Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. And so much love and affection with their God brothers. How love and affection with Sula Guru Dev, Nan Goswami Maharaj and Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, I cannot explain. Though Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, his senior most devotee because he took Harinam from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. Eh? But eh, he always gave respect to Nan Goswami Maharaj. All he used this word, Nan Goswami Maharaj, is my, eh, what is called, um, guardian. You know, guardian? Yeah. Who is protecting. Yeah. So this, he also used this word. And I, I noticed one thing when Nan Goswami Maharaj used to come from Mathura to Devananda Gaudimat, when he noticed so Nan Goswami Maharaj is coming, just enter in the main gate of Devananda Gaudimat, then my Gurudev, he completely lay down and paid his obeisances. This thing. And, and always he also saying, and, yeah, Nan Goswami Maharaj, he, he is the all in all everything. And this is his mood, love and affection with him. And without Nan Goswami Maharaj, he, didn't, he never will sign any paper, nothing to do these things. And so much deep attachment with love and affection we saw in this end. And my Guru Dev once, little bit I give one, how we are thinking, welfare of the uh, his disciple. One time, when some day, some year, two, three years, when Param Guru Dev left, and then um, after some time, Continuously, four years, maybe for our Bhukti Vedanta Nani Goswami stay in the Navadhi for management. That time in class, everybody must be come, even the Sannasi. If not coming, ask him, why you not come? Call, name. Krishna Kipa, come. Everybody take name and everybody. By my Guru Dev, I class, ah, coming somebody according that, even the disciple not coming. So I asked his Sevok, Sundar Ananda Prabhu, that time, very, very high class. Oh, I show my Guru Dev, how weeping for him. Sevok Basalu, I hear that I Param Guru Dev, Anango. Sevok was this, how he was feeling so separation. And I saw that is my Gurudev for Sundaranand was in the electric shock have died. How? Three months, when after he died, he came fast in our house. Taking breakfast, weeping tears. My, my brother, wife, have seen, we are Gurudev also weeping for his Sevok like this. They are thinking that they made tears. 
but house ye is weeping always saying sundaranand sundaranand so much sundaranand also like this type of whom guru dev is so all this remain coming and that time what purpose and that is i i telling the how sebok shishya basalo to param guru dev also love is this i put that and my gurudev in like a shadow with the param gurudev understand because he came in the when nine year old after take uh, bhakti uh, uh, siddhanta sarti hari naam 1933 pe i asked bo maharaj why you have not taken initiation for that time not give initiation quick So and then Param Guru Dev, he was always staying with Param Guru Dev. Eh? He lodged in Gita Slok, remain one on Slok, one on Toffee lodgings. The so, Baba, my Guru Dev, uh, are keeping that so many Slok. So in this way, Param Guru Dev is mostly is uh, giving when you are jail, he give that. That you are everybody know that story that he give initiation, bhakti, vedanto. Bhavan Goswami Maharaj, initiation. That time he shantos. Then name is Sajjan Sevak Brahmachari. So in this way we are seeing shantos in house name, but Prabhu was giving maybe Sajjan Sevak Brahmachari. I not remember. That's like this way. Though my Guru Dev also very much, um, very much in he told when I am used to. Then no, so much plate anything. After Param Guru Dev taken, he take that that same plate. He had taken prasad. In this way, how we are making the papita, green papita, eh, to make the milk. And his cutting sabji is not ninety, twenty, twenty-two never ninety, ninety, same size. We will be cutting one nineteen, one point twenty-five, <laughs> one eighteen. No, Guru Mahal in particular. Guru Mahal eating is looking. He has uh, so many portions. I am see the how he took the prasad. I am sitting. First, I give the rice like this. Way. Very good. Eh? Then all the preparation. He has like the pond of the nim pata and begun, nim begun. In Bengali, very prepared it. So he had first taken nim begun, clean. Nobody after is eating. Nobody think anybody have take prasad. Very beautiful and sobji taken from Kotara. No any hair hair no rosa. Very beautiful keeping. Style of eating very beautiful. <laughs> I am so. So and also how they are taking prasad. Prasad seva kori jo ay proponchon proponchon jo ay iti dai so one time he came I make some um, neem and begun egg plan in my garden I find out them very common common soft neem and making and give suddenly my arrived my maybe it is salty guru them not too much salt not. Not too much uh, uh, chili, too much salt, too much spices. Not that it is moderate. So I am taking I am Guru Dev. This neem preparation is some salty. Guru Dev look to me, one minute. Then told I will not offer Gopal because my mother have Gopal. I will hear some Guru Dev. But then why you ask me? I am taking prasad of Gopal. The prasad is Guruji prasad. was uh, also even with money and everything. Guru, that was very strict. You mustn't use money. The uh, temple's money must be used for the temple. Mm -hmm. Mustn't you? Uh, mustn't use it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you one perfect example of Shri Baman Goswami Maharaj when he was younger. He 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 went to, in, in the old Calcutta. It was very old at the time mm -hmm. when Param Guru there was there. So he must have been very young. And um, he he went preaching for collection at Kadeshi. When he came back, Param Guru Dev saw that he didn't have any he didn't have any shoes on and he had blisters on his. And he said to him, Santosh, that was his name, Brahmachari name, Santosh. Where are your shoes? 
and uh, why are you not wearing them? And then, and then Guruji said, um, because um, one of my shoes broke and I, they were useless, I threw them away. And Param Guru they told him, he said, but you have, you have collection, you have collected money, yes? So why didn't you buy a pair, another pair of shoes from that money? Mm. Guruji said, but this is not my money, this is your money. Mm. I can't take from your money without asking you. Mm. Param Guru there had tears in his eyes. Oh. Okay? Hence the shoes. Then Bharam Gurudev gave him a pair of shoes, these like these ones, and that's why all his life after that Guru Maharaj wore the same kind of shoes. Oh, wow. I told you, didn't I? There yes. was a story behind those yes. shoes. Wonderful. Yes, yeah. yeah. And um, those uh, Paduka was given to me by uh, Madhav Maharaj when he was Nabin Prabhu at that time. Because I asked him, can I go to this path? Because why? I said, because uh, I don't know when I'm going to see you. I would like to have them, you know. And uh, he gave them to me. They're, they're Narayan Maharaj's paduka he used to wear. Ah, wow. It wasn't just like he put his feet on and, uh, no. and the shoes also, Guru, Guru Maharaj's shoes also. Yes. It was so amazing at Devananda Gaudiya Mat. And I remember just, you know, when Gurudev would wait for Srila Vaman Maharaj to arrive. And then I would, I would be standing up like near his room and um, I think there were just a few of us and Gurudev had this um, garland with him and he was pacing backwards and forwards like I've never seen Gurudev like that he was pacing backwards and forwards like he was in in so much um, what's that like word not anxiety but you know like so much greed to meet with Srila Vaman Maharaj at least that's what it looked like to me and you know, he was just pacing backwards and forwards and then Srila Vaman Maharaj came in his car and I looked over and like all the Bengalis just, they make that noise and then everyone hit the, hit the ground and, you know, to pay pranam to Srila Vaman Maharaj and then he came upstairs and Gurudev offered that garland, he put the garland on him and then he paid pranam to him and there was so much, you know, affection and respect between them it, it was such, it was really remarkable, you know, there was no that they were, you know, like Gurudev always explains, like after Param Gurudev left, there was just no envy or competition between them and just respect and affection. And just all three of them being there, it just created such a powerful atmosphere. And, and then one last thing that I remember was one Gorpanim. And um, Gurudev was like a conductor and he was like standing on the stage. And, con you know, then he was, he was kind of, almost like it was like everybody was a puppet and he was pulling their strings and telling someone to play the midanga and the other person to do this and the wampas and this and he was directing everybody and everyone was like running backwards do you remember that it was amazing it was absolutely amazing it's like indescribable you know it's like something i've never seen anything like it like that it was just an unbelievable like kirtan and, and gorpanim like absolutely amazing and it was just like Gurudev was directing everything and, and the happiness that you felt in that atmosphere you know it really was like from another world and, and so inspiring and so that yeah that for me every time I go back to Devananda Gaudiya Mat I always have those I always have those memories and it's it's such a special time Especially, you know, when all three of them were there in such a special time with Gurudev and as, as he always was, as many disciples as he got, you know, Gurudev was always so personal and so accessible. And even now when you see his samadhi, you know, some people say, oh, it's not good and the Bengalis are sleeping all around. But, you know, that's, that's Gurudev. Like, he was always with his disciples. He always had his disciples around him. He wasn't shut off and away from us and not accessible. And, and you can see it in his samadhi. He's just so giving and personal. He's right there in the middle of everybody doing parikrama like he always was.